everyone, it's Randy. So I just wanted to share a quick little, I don't wanna say it's like an alternative to treating rheumatoid arthritis, um, but just like an extra modality is what we say in the chiropractic world, but just an extra thing that you can use or do and that is backed by research that has been proven to help with rheumatoid arthritis, as well as fibromyalgia if you deal with that as well. And I just wanna talk about it real quick because I have used it on patients and I've used it on myself and I absolutely love using it when I am having like a huge flare in a specific, a specific joint. What it's called, it's actually called a low level laser. And a low level laser, how I describe it to patients when I'm about to actually use the modality on them. Uh, I'll always say that I know it says laser in the, or it has laser in the name, but I promise it's not gonna hurt. Um, it's not like a burning type of laser, but it emits like a red light. And the purpose of the light is it's actually stimulating deep, deep into the tissues. And on a scientific term, it's stimulating the cells and it's stimulating the mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell, but it's stimulating the mitochondria to create ATP, which promotes cellular healing. And this is just so important on the cellular level because it helps with inflammation, pain, and there are many settings that are on different low level lasers. So the ones that I'm speaking on, there are many that are coming like, that are becoming more, my words all over the place, but there are many that are like new today. And they're kind of like the, they're the cheaper versions that you can just find and stuff. Uh, but the ones that I'm speaking on are actually a medical grade laser, which if you look in research, it'll discuss the wavelengths of the laser that's actually backed by research. So that's really important to pay attention to because some of the new newer lasers that are being marketed and made by different companies don't have the same wavelength. They may have like a, their wavelength may be, all of them may be in the 600s when the medical ones are actually closer. Most of them are in like the 800s, 700s, 800s. So it's very important to pay attention to which wavelengths they're actually being used. So I'm speaking on the medical grade ones, the ones that we have in our clinic and that we use on patients. And this one, I will say it costs $9,000. So that's kind of an idea of how serious this laser is. So uh, we will use this laser on people that have fibromyalgia because you know they're dealing with some pain that's going on in the muscle area and also some trigger points and tender points. We will use it on the kind of like the inflammation and pain setting so that we can decrease inflammation, also decrease pain. And with the level with the low level laser that we have at our clinic, it is it actually has like different levels between either doing acute or chronic. So when I'm dealing with a flare up, I will actually do the acute version, even though rheumatoid arthritis is considered like a chronic condition because I've had it for more than three months. A uh, flare up is acute. So when you deal with a flare up, it's just boom, it's there. Your joint is red, hot, swollen, stiff. And so doing the acute level will help to decrease pain. And y'all, I absolutely love using a low level laser on my joints and even on my tendons whenever my tendons are giving me issues as well i love using low level laser for that and i it's something that once i graduate because i'll graduate in almost a month from now i'm gonna make sure that i have a laser a low level laser in my office or in my clinic because i have seen how great it is for people that have chronic conditions and I just wanted to touch on that because not a lot of people know of low level lasers and there are certain doctors that have them. For the most part that I have seen of doctors or clinicians that have low level lasers are chiropractors. I have not, I'm not sure, I haven't done all of my research on what all, like who all carries it. Maybe some physical therapists may carry it. Um, but I'm not sure of any other doctors that do carry it. So I just wanted to share this and it's not it to say that you should only use a low level laser and you shouldn't take medication or anything like that. Definitely not what I'm trying to promote. I'm just trying to promote just actually not even promote, but just share um, a different modality and a different thing that you can use when you're dealing with inflammation and you're dealing with a lot of pain and just using it as a supplement to what you're already using or honestly just use it because some people's RA is like managed really, really well with just diet, exercise, or very, very low grade of medicine. There's so many different ways that people manage their RA. So if your RA is managed on one of those, like just diet or something, but you still find yourself flaring up maybe once a month or from time to time, I would definitely look into a low level, low level laser and I would look into who around you may may have it, may carry it, so that you could actually use it for your RA. 
But yeah, I just wanted to share that. And I hope that it's something that all of y'all, or if you're interested in trying, that you have the opportunity to try it. And if you want to ask me any questions or more questions about it, or just honestly ask how the procedure, I mean, it's not even a procedure. I'll just tell you how it feels. You're, you really don't even feel anything. Uh, we have two different emitters, which two different things that emit the laser. One is like a little shower head, so it just kind of floats over the area. And the other one is, it's we call it like a stem head because it has little areas on it that have the e-stem type of feeling. So it gives a little buzzing sensation and it also provides feedback. So the machine will buzz over an area and if it beeps, then it notices that, that area has some damage. So either inflammation or um, something that's just causing pain in that area. So then the little emitter will beep at you. So you'll stay there in that spot and then it'll beep again once it has cleaned up that area, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I just wanna share that. If you have any more questions, you can DM me on Instagram or you can email me at rawarriorrandy at gmail.com. And I hope you'll have a great rest of your day.